got another walleye on. <laughs> that was fast. Show them to the camera. There you go. That's a good walleye. So is that... Howdy there folks and welcome back. So today we're out fishing for walleye jigging out here. I'm not going to tell you exactly where because I don't want you to steal our spot. But anyways, we're having great luck catching lots of walleye. It's a beautiful morning. Got one? Nice. Nice fish. Any walleye is a good walleye. <laughs> good eat. Yeah, there's not many in Wyoming. There's only really a handful of places you can even catch them. I mean, it's pretty much trout, trout, and some more trout. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, got one. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> Unless it's another one of the last. <laughs> I think that's a good one though. Right or is he the same as last? Oh, no, he was our. He's, he's, he's good. Yep. Woo! Yeah! Go. All right, folks, out here catching walleye early in the morning. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. Nice, smooth water here. Jigging for walleye. Couldn't be happier with this one. Right. Woo, another one, huh? Well, not necessarily. The, the you know the rumor is, is, and everybody says how bad pronghorn is, kind of. But really, what it is is, I think it's probably the one of the best game meats there is. You just have to. Um, I just immediately skin and quarter it, put it in a cooler within 30 minutes of killing it, yeah, it cool and it's out. literally like the best wild game meat you've ever had. If you treat it like a eastern whitetail, and you like hang it or hang it with the hide on, it'll taste like garbage. Right. So, a lot of people have a misconception about it. Yeah. So. I, lo I love hunting pronghorn because, for one, you always fill your tags. It's, it's a relatively easy hunt. I got one. It's a relatively easy hunt. And uh, they taste good, in my opinion, if you take care of them right. Just steady pressure, huh? Yeah. See, if, you d if I did a trout like this where I live in the river, it would be off in a heartbeat, but... Awesome! Woo! Another one! Nice. He's an angry one. Yeah, he is. And I almost missed him. Hopefully he stays on because I, I let off for a second there. Um, there's a spot I know where you can catch like five pound brookies. I swear they're the biggest brookies I've ever seen in my life. Like everyone's a wall hanger until you literally get tired and just give up catching fish because it's that good fishing. Woo! Is it? Yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Nice. All right there, folks. Beautiful. Nice walleye right there. Gonna be good eating. All right. Do you have one? All right. Shoot. These go... You made it easy too. Alrighty. Oh man, I oh wait, I do have one. I thought I missed him. He did old. Double, double, double. double. Yep, I do. Doubles. Doubles. Open bail. Doubles. Yeah. Woo. 
Doesn't get any better than that. Take the fishies on back to get filleted. Like we slayed the walleye. We got, I don't know, 18 in probably an hour's time um, and actually caught more than that, but uh, threw some back. So we got some beautiful walleye here. But anyways, uh, what you want to have is a good sharp flay knife uh, with some flex to it. This is actually a very cheap flay knife. This is not the flay knife I normally use, but what you want is a, a long flay knife with a nice point, uh, nice flexible blade so you can really run it along that meat. Um, and the way I do this, and I'm, I'm sure not the best at these, these this, you just uh, have the fish. I like to have it towards the, the top fin towards me to start with. You're just gonna cut in along the top here and then trace along that top spine area right here. Once I get about halfway to three quarters of the way back, flex your knife down, run it along and out it goes. Then you can kind of just bring it down the top here following those rib bones and the spine. right along the top. Hopefully you can see this well enough in the, in the video here. And the bones are really this knife is not the sharpest. Then you can run your knife along the bottom. I have a little bit of like silver skin on the inside there that I got. So you can just kind of run your knife along the top of the fillet this knife needs to be just a touch sharper. The sharper your knife is, the better this comes out. Here you have your walleye fillet. Lay it down once you have it cut off the fish. Hold the back end just a touch on the skin. Leave a little bit of meat hanging off so you can grab it. And you just run your blade. This is where a really flexible sharp blade comes in handy. You run it just along the skin line and you push down nice and firm, flex that blade along the skin line. We'll grab in the tail here, and then you have your fillet. That knife is a bit dull, and you really, like I said, you want a knife really sharp, really flexible, and really thin gauge. This is a little bit thick, but uh, still got the job done, and uh, this stuff is gonna taste good.